share Charlotte looking to do good in our community. This weekend, Uptown Charlotte will be awash in purple. Neighbors, friends and family will gather to build awareness and create hope in the fight against pancreatic cancer. There's no sugar coating. It's a tough diagnosis. It is a really tough battle. The American Cancer Society says about 66,000 will be diagnosed with the disease this year. The five year survival rate is just 12%. When we started, the survival rate was 5% over five years. It's now up to 12% over five years, but it's still really bad odds. Um, and, but what we're doing creates change. You hit on it because I was going to ask you about that. I, I know it's not as much progress as we want to see, but we're seeing it yeah. slowly but surely, and that yeah. gives you hope. It's moving in the right direction, and it feels good to be a part of that change. Meg Santana lost her mother, Mary Gardner, in October of 2016. It was just about a month after the whole family had gathered at the Purple Stride Charlotte Walk. It's the big yearly fundraiser to support the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. The nonprofit does a lot to support families on their cancer journey. They're also working hard to find better ways to detect the disease earlier and then effectively treat it. I actually found this organization right after he passed and um, we found that um, they was having a purple stride yeah. and I went to a meeting. I had no idea it was a planning meeting. I just thought it was an informational meeting and that's how my volunteerism started with the purple stride with pancreatic cancer. Now the he Lori Allen was talking about was her dad Lawrence. He died in 2017 just four months after being diagnosed. Lori is the chair of this year's Purple Stride Walk. It's this Saturday at Romare Bearden Park. We talked more with Lori and Meg about the event and the effort to end pancreatic cancer. It was gut riching. We actually found out the day after Christmas on, in 2016. And that was, it was heartbreaking for us. We didn't know what to think. We didn't know what the outcome would be. Um, but we all stuck together, stood by him. He was in a small doctor's office room and there was like six or seven of us um, at all of his appointments. And so um, we just stuck, to, stuck together. My mom and I were, were very close. She was a loving, caring person. She was a healthy, active, 63 years old. Had just, her and my dad had just uh, moved down to Charleston and had just retired. Mm -hmm. And they were getting into that like golden era of life. We're just like enjoying life. You you know, you just never know. Um, you never know in life, but she was dealt a raw hand. How do you look at this day when this walk comes up every year? Is, is it a remembrance? Is it a celebration? Is it emotional? What is it exactly? It's definitely emotional and it's and happy and um, nostalgic. Uh, it's all of those things, Jamie. Um, you know, certainly this is when we started this team the year my mom was sick. Uh, this gave her hope. Uh, it was a way for her to rally ar around the battle, and a lot of her caregivers were there, her surgeon, uh, her oncologist, her nurses, but more importantly, friends and family. And it was uh, a day of hope for her battling this disease. It means the world to me. I'll say when I started um, as a Purple Stride Chair, I had to step back and look at all of everyone that's in purple. And I also shared a couple tears, <laughs> um, but you know, it's, it's amazing. The event's Purple Stride and we are making strides, right? They're slow, yes. we know it's slow, but we're making some progress in mm -hmm. all of this. What does that mean to you? Um, it means that um, survivors or those that ha are newly diagnosed have an opportunity to um, for treatments. Um, they know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. um, and that they can they can make it. Yeah. They can fight through it. She left this world with grace. Um, um, and thinking of others and how it would affect them instead of thinking of herself and what was me, it, that was never um, the way she handled it. So she's dearly missed and I know she'd be happy to know that we're, this community is, um, cares a lot about this cause and is giving back so others hopefully don't get dealt the same hand. What do you need right now, mostly right now before this event comes? What, what, how can the community help you? Um, just showing support, um, making donations to um, Purple Stride Charlotte. Um, if you don't make a donation, come out to Romare Beard and, and enjoy, um, enjoy the celebration. 
Yeah, it is worth your time. Again, Purple Stride Saturday at Romare Bearden Park. The event village opens at 730 in the morning. The opening ceremonies at 830. You can find all the details on our website. Just go to WBTV.com slash web extras. And if you're looking for a way to do good in our community, Share Charlotte is a great place to start. Just go to ShareCharlotte.org.